Hello world, welcome to CodingScientist.com. We are on a special series for artificial intelligence and robotics using Jetson Nano, NVIDIA's Jetson Nano on the JetBot. All right. So let's take a look at it where we are. We are actually in lesson number 26 where we are going to move the bot right now, guys. So we are going to, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to show you a live demo about the basic motion code which is there on on the jupyter uh, notebook which is installed already as a part of jetbot uh, operating system so let's take a look at it my bot is already connected and it's ready let's try to give some command it's completely headless mode it's remote guys uh, just a heads up to you folks in case uh, you know if you are if you are uh, using a kind of uh, huge a table or something do please hold your bot in your hand because the motors are pretty powerful though it's just six to nine volt but it runs very fast in this particular lesson you got to hold it in your hand if you are using a table or i would suggest just leave it uh, leave it on the ground uh, in the open floor where there's a lot of space around for the bot to move all right let's let's take a look at it so let's let's go to our uh, browser i hope you guys are connected to jetbot uh, using the previous steps which i showed you how to connect it now we got to open this jetbot first uh, 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 the directory this particular directory called jetbot i hope you guys have opened it keep it ready with you we are going to try and run the bot guys okay once you are in then open the notebooks double click you need to open and then double click on basic motion in this basic motion, we can see the Python script code file. Double click on that file. Now, okay. Now you can see this particular screen. This is this is very very detailed, guys. You can go through yourself. I don't have to explain this. Everything is explained step by step systematically. Very systematically. Very well written. All right. Go through this step by step. In case if you don't understand, then you can reach me out and I will help you take you one on one, take you through one on one session and help you out. For now, what we need to do, let me show you some basic stuff. Importing the robot class. OK, so we are going to you need to highlight this code Okay, with your mouse. Just highlight this code and come to this rectangle button. Can you see here? You need to click this. OK, once you click this and then you need to go to robot equal to robot this particular code highlight it completely and then click again and then commanding the bot now you got to hold your robot in your hand because this particular command as soon as we execute your motors are going to turn pretty fast highlight it hold the bot and click run there you go i can see my bot running i hope you can hear the sound as well let me just share it with you can you see how fast the motor is running? It's pretty fast guys. If I leave it down on the ground, it's going to run really fast. I mean, it's, go it's going to be pretty good. Now to stop it, what we need to do, there is a stop command next, robot.stop. Okay, that, these are all the explanation you can follow. Uh, let me just share uh, the browser again. You can, okay, you, you can stop by executing this robot.stop all right there you go you can just stop it right there now let's take a look at it guys what we need to do it's it's pretty uh, simple and straightforward lesson you guys can very easily go through the steps now the next line of the code is import time for for in order to uh, turn the robot left and right and you know give a certain time parameters and stuff like that you can do that let's let's import the time and click here and then the next Three lines of code robot.left 0.3 milliseconds time.sleep 0.5 robot.stop it's going to just quickly run and stop actually let me hold the bot in my hand because it's going to run away and then you need to highlight this okay highlight this completely and then click this run button there you go all right now go to the next section controlling motors individually there is a clear explanation how to uh, how this code works robot.set underscore motors highlight it 
and then if you click the motor is going to run very fast very fast and stop for within a second it's going to stop okay similar way go to the next section of code this is the code the robot dot left underscore motor and the right underscore left underscore motor and right underscore motor highlight this completely this is going to turn left and right totally i'm going to run this click this button it's going to run and left and right and it's it stops immediately because there is a time dot sleep 1.0 right i'm going to explain this code later on but you can easily follow this code with these kind of explanation it's pretty easy now link motors to trilets all right so this is a really cool feature and we can actually uh, create a kind of app here it, it's kind of it's almost similar to a mobile app but you are creating on the on the web browser uh, so let me show you how this works so highlight this code and then run this code you can see a left and right button here right so it's just a kind of bar but this is not going to work right now you need to move on to the next set of code where we will be importing the trilets which is going to connect to that particular right and left bars okay now let's run this code now let's go to the next line of the code robot dot forward and this is where your robot is going to run let me hold the bot again there you go the bot is running and then left underscore link and right underscore link this is going to link to your attached bars the bar which you saw like a mobile app and then you need to again follow the next line next two lines of the code where let me run this now we are going to attach all this function to create an event that is it's going to create a couple of buttons for left, right, forward and backward and kind of thing. Highlight everything and then run this code. There you go. Can you see at the bottom? Immediately the buttons pops up. But if you click this, nothing is going to happen, right? So we got to define what is left. We got to define what is backward, stop, right and forward. Every definition should go in. So this is the defined code. If you move down, we are going to define for each button what that python code is supposed to do so highlight all this click run now we have defined the functions now we need to attach all this defined function to respective buttons how we are going to do that we are going to just highlight all this all these lines of code run it again and then now we need to we can just try to run this forward there you go let me left there you go the bot runs right perfect now backward all right perfect and this is the stop kill button so for the kill button basically we need to run the heartbeat kill switch so if you run this particular code this is this section of code this is going to attach to your stop button which is going to kill the entire program and stop it's kind of emergency stop you know so that's it guys that's uh, you know uh, this is the basic uh, motion of uh, uh, of the chatbot and this is a pretty basic lesson you can go through this code line by line a very detailed explanation explanation is provided for those of you who don't understand python programming you know you may uh, you may follow my other parallel series which is going on where i had walked through step by step very basics of python using jets and nano we will be we we had deployed jet uh, python uh, codes on jets and nano i i did walk through very detailed intensive tutorial so take a look at it and then come back to this lesson you will be able to understand what we are talking about here all right guys so i am going to be back soon in the next lesson we are going to talk about more advanced features of jetbot and keep the bot moving we are going to build pretty advanced stuff like you know autonomous motion and uh, we are going to build a uh, kind of self driving car kind of thing where this bot the jet bot is going to basically you know avoid objects and obstacles on the road and it's going to detect the lane through this camera and it's going to follow the lanes as well so all those things is possible guys i am going to walk you through one by one all right guys until then goodbye have fun with jet bot